Good evening, I'm Antonio, Antonio Grasso from Italy. I don't talk about pizza, don't worry. So <laughs> I'm a technologist. So uh, when I was asked uh, which topic do you want to talk at uh, FinTech, I think uh, why don't talk about uh, something that many people ask to me to, to clarify. When I talk with my customer in, uh, in Italy and outside Italy, I work also with uh, many uh, international companies as advisor, etc. Uh, for example, they ask me, Antonio, do you want to uh, advise us on a digital transformation project? Uh, we want to build uh, a software that, uh, you know, we have a ticket for this, uh, for example, let me say cinema, we want to use uh, the app, uh, etc. Okay, yes, this is uh, a good project, but it's not a digital transformation project. This is a digitization. So, uh, when I ask to which kind of topic, I say, why don't clarify the difference between this digitization, digitalization, and digital transformation? Because many people are, you know, they stuck on, uh, they call everything digital transformation. You know, it's a, it's a bad world. It's a bad world that is uh, very... Uh, so, with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, we try to address problem because it's a problem of our uh, especially on social media many people talk uh, hashtag digital transformation stop uh, only that hashtag so um, digitization is when one product or one service become digital let me say an example the mp3 okay the mp3 invention has turned digital a, a physical product the vinyl, the disc, the compact disc, or can be the new uh, streaming services, they are a digitization example, sorry. <laughs> the word is not very useful in Italian. <laughs> and, uh, um, or in the FinTech, for example, the bill, you know, the bill is becoming digital. We have no, no more needs for physical bill to put in our wallet, it's uh, digital. That kind of a shift or transformation, we call it digitization. So a product become digital is digitization. MP3 is the one good example in the music industry, or the bills in the fintech in the financial sector. Well, when we talk about digitalization, we need to talk uh, about a phenomenon that include is uh, is good. Ah, more close to okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. When we talk about digitalization, we talk about uh, the infusion of technology in some process, in some business process, exactly. So. We have a business process, we have function, we infuse technology in that kind of process. We talk about digitalization. If we want to say again, in the music industry, an example of digitalization is the Apple Store, okay? Or the Amazon Music, for example. They created a new opportunity, a new business model, using a product that become digital the mp3 from the disc, the music, from uh, physical product become digital and then enabled a new business model because Apple Store without mp3 is very unuseful, it was empty, so simply empty. Okay, well, in the case of uh, financial sector, digitalization is happening when new companies are enabling, are creating new business model that enable new business model. So many companies, in this case, fintech companies, exist because they are using digitalization to automate a business process with infused technology in existing process, creating a new business model because digitalization enables new business model. When still we talk about digital transformation, digital transformation is a bigger phenomena. It's a different kind of relation that we are using together with people, so society, economy, and institution are changing the way 
they relationate with data, creating a new, a shift in the paradigm we live our world. It's not just only, you know, the app, the, the smartphone. Digital transformation is enabled by a phenomenon that we call digital diffusion. So, the diffusion of technology, of digital technology, has enabled the digital transformation. Each of us is changing the way, for example, when you go at a restaurant, you know, uh, 15 years ago, if you go to a restaurant with uh, a camera and you shoot at, uh, at a meal, I think your friend at least called the ambulance. He says it's not, uh, it's not very good. But now it's normal when you go to a restaurant and shoot at a meal and post on social media. So it creates a new relation between us. Connect people with other people. Connect economy with institution and create really new opportunities, new business models. This is something that we call digital transformation. It's a real shift, it's a paradigm shift from the things that we doing before and we, did, we do now after this shift. So digitization, digitalization and digital transformation. It's interesting to understand why the impact of this kind of shift in the companies, in the startups and the small business, because many start their journey thinking about technology. How I can adopt technology, how I can use technology to create my project, my startup, or to digitalize my small business? Well, if you have a clear, and a clear example of what is digitization, what is digitalization, and what is digital transformation, you can clear, identify new opportunity for your startup. Because you think, okay, I want to do an etiquette, for example. I don't want to, I want to. But uh, many companies, the big tech companies, that, for example, Facebook, Amazon, they now are. Uh, uh, are successfully because they are changing the digital, uh, the business model. It's something that we call disruption. Disruption is something that is happening because of digitalization, digitization, and digital diffusion. If you think, for example, another example can be the Kodak, the film, you know. Many of us buy the film, shoot photo, and then need to wait. Uh, the stamp on paper, but now they are so immediate. You shoot the photo and then you have a yeah. on social media. So this is my contribution. This is just to clarify what is the difference between digitization, digitalization, and digital transformation. I hope it will be useful for you, for your course. And I want to say thank you for staying here. And um, nothing good. Thank you. Thank you and, uh, very much. I thought that was a very good summary up of uh, <laughs> sum up of really what we need to think about is the the differences yes, and what this actually means. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because something you can you can find something inside that is not clear if you don't the, the product. For example, the water will never be digitization of water. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, if we want to sell water in another way, we can do with the digitalization. Yes. Okay, digital transformation is a big phenomenon that is so when very I have big. That, when I have that hologram after I've died, which is living on after me, it won't need water. Yeah. So yeah. maybe. <laughs> so. <laughs> thank you very much. Indeed. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you very everything. much for thank staying you. the course. Um, thank you. I think there's some closing remarks taking place in the main hall, so do go and join everybody there. And I'd like to thank you very much for your time this afternoon. <laughs>